Stasis here and today we're playing some more Dark and Light. Don't forget if you like the videos to hit the like button and subscribe for more. So, we're back for some more Dark and Light. Uh, last episode we tried to kill um, the Elite Overseer and we nearly did it but it didn't quite go so well. Um, I actually have managed to kill one now. Unfortunately I wasn't recording at the time. Um, I literally went back and thought that it wouldn't be there and it was. So, anyway. I did manage to finish that off and I did get the crystalline um, eye beam that you needed from that. The only problem I have is that I can't fast travel back here with it, it drops out of your inventory. So I had to store it at the other base, um, which isn't a massive problem because whatever we need to use to craft it with we can just craft it over there and then I'm hoping that we can bring that back with us or we can use it over there. Um, so yeah, it shouldn't be a massive problem um, but it is something... Um, I don't really know how to get on land from here to the other base, so this map's, I feel like it's just slightly confusing and because there's hills and everything everywhere, I don't think it's like, it's not very simple to get to places, so I think, like if I go this way, I'm just going to take the spider with me, um, if we head over this way, I'm pretty sure that we can see the skull mountain from over the back of these cliffs so i think it is actually like sort of down and over the back behind us um which is why we can't get will they let me in here with this yeah okay i don't think i've ever tried to come in like through here with a mount so i think that's it there can you see like just to, let me go over here i think that that is it there so basically here it is that big rock over there. So we, our other base is over there behind this big mountain. And I just, I don't know the route to get over there. So this is obviously a massive cliff. Now I could just, I think we have a glider somewhere. I could just glide over there, but then getting back, I don't know how I'm gonna get back here again. So currently I haven't found a path that is safe to get there and back. Um, what can I do for you? How are you today? What can I do for you? Better from around here. Excuse me, guys. So there's like, if you follow this path around, okay, see, it's all like big cliffs. So I don't want to lose my spider. But basically. There's a big cliff and it drops off the end there, and I just I don't know what's the best path to go down. Now, if you go through the ice mountain, there is a path that comes out the other side, and maybe that takes us through there. Maybe I need to investigate. Okay, I'm stuck on a tree. Maybe I need to investigate the path through the actual ice mountain. I'm not sure. Because I can see the ice mountain from the school rock as well. So I think I need to go through the mountain to get there. That's probably the case. We'll figure it out anyway. If that is the case, then we just need to take a mount with us. And it'll probably be a long journey. But we can probably just go all the way through out and um, come back. There is obviously a lot of dangers around as well, so we have to be slightly careful from that point of view. But yeah, I'm pretty sure there probably is a way to get round there on foot. I just haven't figured it out yet. I'm just trying to reverse my spider back this way. Okay, so anyway, today what I wanted to do... Um, oh no, I'm stuck on Sid. Sid, why do you do these things to me? I think it's because I parked him too close to the... There we go. Got you trapped, bully. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, what I wanted to do today um, is basically we've unlocked some new stuff and uh, I want to craft the new brazier and also the jack-o'-lantern because um, Halloween's coming up. So we should get appropriately fitted for that. Um, and also, uh, I want to tame a bear. That is, that is what I also want to do today. I want to tame a bear. So we will go ahead and we will try to find a bear that we can tame. Because I feel like that's going to be something we're going to need. Especially if we're going to go on these journeys. Um, but first of all, what I wanted to do was craft these. So we have um, basically these braziers. Um, which is now a new thing. That we learnt from our decorating. 
Now, I kind of want to craft two of these because I want to put one down on its own. And then I want to craft one for the Jacko Lantern. Do I have any more wood anyway? Um, I thought I had some stockpiled, but oh, I just picked up some stuff I didn't want to pick up. That can go back. Um, yeah, I thought I had some, but I don't. I've probably used it all in the uh, the torches, to be honest with you. I also need to go out and grab more copper because I need to finish upgrading the house. I keep getting sidetracked by other things. Okay, so we're going to craft two of these. And one of them we are going to turn into the jack-o'-lantern. So we need a pumpkin to be able to do that, which is no problem because we're growing those. So we should be good. Actually, the farm's going pretty well. Um... We're getting plenty of elemental uh, cores that we need. So, it's got one day 16. These are our light elemental cores. Oops. We've got wheat growing here. We've got mushrooms. Uh, then this is the pumpkin pot. We really need one, so I'm just going to take one for now. Um, I'm just going to check we don't have any... Oh, here we go. So, yeah, we're actually doing really well we've got the fire blossoms we've got the thunder grass uh these hadn't fully grown yet oh no they are now i hadn't even noticed that these so these are the water elemental cores that we needed for various other upgrades for different things as well um this plant looks a bit crazy and then this is the dark one. So yeah, we're actually doing really well. We have a full farm full of everything that we could ever possibly need. Um, everything should have enough fertilizer. I didn't actually check. We should be good. Yeah, we're doing good. Uh, Lenny and Leroy help with farming of grass for fertilizer, so that's handy. Um, right, let's, let's head back in here. I'm just gonna put in the elemental cores back in here. So you'll be able to see, um, we have a few now. So these I found anyway when I killed something very early on actually in the game and I can't remember where I got them from, but I did have some. Um, we have lots of light elemental cores, but we don't have so many of the others. So earth elemental, we're actually doing okay now though. The ones that we didn't have any of um, are the water elemental cores. So literally we are low on those. Um, but yeah, I feel like we're doing better on the whole elemental core thing now. We seem to have quite a few. Anyway, let's go ahead. We need to craft this jack-o'-lantern thing. So let's do this. So I'm going to place these down. I want to see um, what they look like. Now, obviously, I need to put them in a place where... I'm going to put the brazier outside, I think. Maybe, like... I don't really know. I need to finish this off as well. Um, I don't know. Let's let's put one here for now. Then we can see in the dark. This looks pretty cool. I actually like the the way this looks. We'll light that in a sec. Do I have enough wood? I need to light it. I have some. Oh wow. Well, I like the animation on that. That looks cool. Let me just turn my um hood off nice oh that looks really cool okay well actually that's kind of a good place to have that because at night time i can never see where anything is so i'm going to leave that there um the jack-o-lantern one maybe i'm going to put this one in the house for now um as like a halloween decoration maybe so let's go ahead and um this will probably just creep me out but oh it's massive okay no it's going outside <laughs> It's going outside. Let's put it... Oh, I could have just twisted it. There's me trying to, like, line up. Oh, that's cool. Whoa. Look at the blue kind of smoky effect on that. Oh, we're all decked for Halloween now. Can we put anything in there? Are we supposed to put anything in there? 
I think you just leave it. Watch us get attacked now because I've put this Halloween pumpkin outside. That's really cool though. Well, I'm going to leave that there since as you know, we've got the whole Halloween thing. Um, okay, so I need to go and I need to find a bear and we need to try and tame a bear. Which means I just need to get a few things ready because I'm going to need a feeding trough and bears eat meat. So I'm going to need to go and farm some of that. So I'm going to be right back um, just while I go and find all those things. And then when I'm back, um, yeah, we'll go find a bear. Okay, guys. So I found um, a bear. However, there's two. And I don't want to. I only want one. So, um, they're both going to come together though. Like, there's no way I can split these guys. Also, this is a really unsafe place to be because there's usually caches and stuff around here. Um, okay, yeah, we've aggroed both. So, take out this one. Oh. Okay, we got that one. Right, now we need to find... Where other bear went. It's starting to get dark. This concerns me. Because I don't really want to tame around here. So ideally I need to pull it back. But um. Oh there he is. This is not a good way to do this. Um, whoa. I can't see because it's dark. I really shouldn't have done this in the dark. I knew it didn't. <laughs> Yeah, we're dead. 
we're dead, guys. Yeah. <laughs> He's too high a level for me to deal with. Um, I need to get up high. Okay. Also, it's really dark and I can't see anything. Now I've got no magic shards. Okay. Um. One sec. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for daylight and then I'm going to go back for him because I just don't, I can't do this while it's dark. And I didn't look at the time. So I'm going to be right back guys um, once daylight hits. Okay guys, so I've come back. It's still night time. I actually came back looking for my stuff, but he's kind of out here and I've managed to get onto a ledge. So, I don't want to waste these arrows because I know the way it works is that they have to tire themselves out. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that from here because like I say, it kind of relies on these snapping. But equally, this has slowed him down. So I'm just gonna see if I can get this to work. I'm gonna try like one every so often. I think he got smart. Okay, he's tried to get smart. Okay, he's back. So we're just... I'm hoping all those arrows that just broke made him quite tired. I think it's working. The rock gets in the way. So I have no idea how many arrows I have wasted. Now I'm in trouble. Quick, 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 while he's frozen, while he's frozen. No, no, no. Oh my goodness. So slow. <laughs> also, I think the, the crossbow is about to break. I 
don't know if this is gonna work, guys. Okay, literally my crossbow is about to break. So um, I'm gonna be right back. I'm probably gonna have to run back to base. I do have another one, um, grab that and um, yeah, see if I can actually do this guys. So I'll be right back if I can knock it out. Oh my God, guys, I did it. Um, that was hard. <laughs> that was really hard. Um, I've been here for ages. <laughs> Um, stuff has even started to spawn um, because I've been here for so long and also I don't know where my other body is um, but it had all of the meat and everything on and I have nothing to feed it. I thought it was down here. Um, but honestly it, it could have gone anywhere. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and take probably some of my coins, I'm going to buy some <laughs> meat, and then I'm going to sit here and I'm going to tame this guy, and hopefully he's not going to wake up, because that was so hard. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to go get some meat, he makes terrifying noises, and I'm going to hope that Akasha doesn't spawn, because otherwise we're in some trouble, but here we go guys, I'll be back once this thing's nearly tamed. Okay guys, um, we're back. I'm hoping this is gonna tame on this eat, but it might just not do it now. Okay, so we need another one. But um, yeah, we're basically there. We've pretty much done this now. <laughs> we've just gotta wait for its food to drop one more tiny little bit. I have no more crossbows left, um, and I only have seven hook arrows, so its fatigue can't really drop now anyway. But to be honest, its fatigue has been like really slow going down, and. I've kept it really high just in case, just because I desperately do not want this to wake up. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Also, I did genuinely lose my body, so I don't know. It must have gone flying off the cliff or something. <laughs> I did have a look around for it again, but I couldn't find it. So I'm guessing that, um, well, I lost a, a few things, not too much, um, mainly kind of magic shards. Um, which isn't an issue and the stuff that I did lose it really uh, it, it won't really affect me so it's not too much of a problem I do need to get some more magic shards though um, mainly because I where did I just put that what did I do that for um, I don't know I dragged it to that um, yeah mainly because I have no light spells left as you can see I've uh, been sat here taming this for a while now um, I'm also too scared to move because no caches have spawned. And it terrifies me that if I move, a cache will spawn. So yeah, I've been trying to stay relatively still. Um, you know, just in case it does crazy arc things. And I'm sure some of you will know what I mean by that. Um, I really want magic shards, but I'm too scared to move. Okay, there we go. I'm pretty sure I have like an overflow that I keep at the base just in case I ever do run out, but. I feel like I just heard something and I didn't like it. There is a tree ant running, roaming around as well, and that slightly worried me as well in the fact that usually they will aggro <laughs> aggressive things. <laughs> like bears and caches um and he's kind of roaming down there which will be where the spawns are for the caches i've actually seen them come out of the spawn near the zone down there before so yeah they're not fun they usually spawn in groups of like five six um we don't need that right now so i'm hoping that our little bear here is going to tame relatively soon as you can see we've been here for a while It kind of eats when it gets down to about 4719-ish. There we go. 
Okay, I'm gonna call him Bertie. I don't know why I'm naming it on this screen because it never works, but Let's see. Um There we go. You have to name on twice. Okay, so I did realise that I don't have the saddle for this. Um Also, I might have bugged it out. So, if you do this thing where you freeze them before you tame them, you can bug them out, which I think I've done, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> I don't know if there's a way to fix it. Um, I don't know. I'll have to look into it. But anyway, Bertie looks cool. He looks like he's changed colour, though. Yeah, we don't have a saddle. Um, we need to be riding rank 6, I believe. So I'm going to have to probably start farming some um, some riding skill. Which means I'll just have to start creating saddles. Which isn't a problem. I could just create a load of books. I'm so glad we're not far from the base because honestly this is so slow. So yeah, apparently this is a thing. If you... I kind of forgot about it when I was taming it, to be honest with you. I was just trying to not get eaten. Um, but if you put a saddle on them, it works and it's fine. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. But they kind of become frozen all the time when they haven't got a saddle on them. But if they have a saddle on them, they're not. I think is how it works. Anyway, so we're going to slowly walk this guy back to base. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to leave this video here. We've tamed Bertie, we've decorated some stuff. Um, we've done quite a lot today, and actually this is <laughs> taking a while to tame Bertie. He's now level 124, he has pretty decent stats. So I'm hoping that by the next episode that I will be able to make a bear saddle. I'm going to aim to try and level that up so that we can do that. Um, and then we'll take him out for a spin, and we'll see what he can do. Um, they definitely hit hard when they attack you, so I'm hoping that a bear is going to be a good tank to our little workforce that we've got going on here. But anyway guys, I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers guys!